Good morning, folks. We're starting at the southeastern limb. Yesterday afternoon, a sizable eruption took place just behind the limb, creating a large CME that will not directly hit Earth, but which sure looks incredible when you see the helical motion to the plasma. Mercury taking impact from this burst already this morning. Let's go pop over to spaceweathernews.com and check in on the last day of the Earth-facing half of our star. Once more, there is a lot to look at, but not much in the way of eruptive activity. The most stark aspect of the Earth-facing solar quiet effect is the lack of solar flaring and sunspots. No significant X-ray events the last day, and none are expected soon as the disk offers only some small umbras incoming. I will be excited, however, to see the rest of the incomers trumpeted in by their bright umbral magnetic fields here. The solar wind is calm, very calm, and all magnetic instability at Earth is waning and shifting to the global electric circuit, atmosphere, and lithosphere. You'll remember from yesterday that red patch up top left was going to shift slightly right to face Earth overnight. Thus far, the volcanoes have taken over the quake watch with three eruptive events in the last week, but that doesn't mean we can ignore the seismicity. However, watch what happened. That red patch actually shifted back last night, did not face Earth, and instead began jumping those longitudes and strengthening at the edge of the corona hole that already stopped facing Earth. Wow. The top quake of the day was only 5.5 and it was in Turkey. A quick note. You'll recognize the OLR maps that we've been using, but their problem is a 36-hour delay. Not so much on NOAA's new OLR charts, which did show Turkey and the Middle East with the strongest readings last night. Also had activity on the Pacific Rise and in Chile that makes me want to watch this coastline up to Mexico even more. Top story today is about fast radio bursts. That topic had an entire presentation at Observing the Frontier, and this new one is something strange. For the first time, we have detected a Faraday spiral to the burst, and we are able to tell that it passed through a supernova, star-forming nebula, or galactic center on its way to Earth. We can confirm that these signals are extra-galactic, and still just strange and mysterious as can be. Folks, many of you have already heard the news. We've decided that observing the frontier, the conference in Phoenix this January, it will be the last one for a while, at least until late 2017. These conferences are amazing and so much fun, but they are crushing in terms of time commitment, and I think that there are other things we all wish I was doing other than playing conference administrator. So Phoenix, Arizona, January 30th and 31st last conference for a while. If you were hoping to come out and see us, the speakers, and experience the most comfortable environment on the planet for an awakened mind, this is the last chance for a while. We've got pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.